The LV1 is the most convenient system we've ever used, but every single night people are also saying that it's the best we've ever sounded. Song. My name is John Mark McMillan. I'm a singer-songwriter from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, my name is Leonardo Spaceman Solis, and uh, I am the tour manager and front of house engineer for the Awaken the Dream Tour featuring my dear friend John Mark McMillan. Leo and I started talking about ways we could incorporate plugins and, and those types of effects into our live situation. We started looking for how to make it work with the system we had. And finally, we sort of decided that we needed a, a new system to do exactly what we wanted to do. And that's what led us to the LV-1. The LV-1 has been incredible on this tour. Biggest factors being portability, uh, footprint, budget, and obviously the, the, the sound of, of, of the console. We want to represent John Mark's records the best that we can in a live setting. And I feel like we did pretty good on this. Yeah. You terrify me with you. The load-in for the LV-1 is probably the simplest load-in I've ever had with any <laughs> console. Simple Pelican, roll it off the trailer and, and, and straight to front of house. I really don't really rely on anybody other than myself. It's tiny, but we have um, yeah the fit controller, the touchscreen monitor in the front, and then I have two stage boxes on stage with plenty of outputs for our stereo uh, in-ear rig and um, plenty of outputs for our drive lines for front of house uh, for you know your left and right and sub. And just being able to integrate multiple boxes and easily network them, I think, um, made my job a whole lot easier. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very simple but effective uh, setup. I'm excited for fly dates yeah. with this setup. Me too. You can easily check this. Totally. Yeah on an airplane. Specifically on this tour, we've had plenty of time to, to load in and sound check, and I think we accomplished our schedule pretty well with the LV-1. It's, I mean, I would say we can get things done in, in less than an hour, really. And with things just being dialed in for their ears and you know their monitors being, being preset from the show before, it, it really um, reduces that load in time drastically. And that kind of helps them out too, because they're not on stage for three or four hours at a time. It's one of my pet peeves as an artist is having to do long sound checks every day. You know, like I'm trying to save my voice for the night and if I have to sing through 10 songs in the afternoon, like there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to give it my best in the evening. So it's really nice to know like we can be up and running in a very short period of time. Yeah, having that flexibility of virtual sound check is, is definitely a game changer for yeah. us just because there really isn't anything like hearing, you know, John Mark's vocal and being able to push that with some of the effects that we use with, you know, like the H delay. Blossoms trace the trees and spring without permission rages on again. We've never really been able to bring a monitor engineer out on the road. I mean, it'd be great if we could, you know, but in the past it's Leo running monitors for front of house. And if something is not happening right during the show, I'm like waving down. Leo, and there's times I literally on the mic was like, oh, I can turn my vocals off my ears, turn vocal and click. But now with the MyMon app, it's literally right in my pocket. The flexibility of the app is, is very fluid and, and responsive. In a snap, I can like tweak my mix. The effects have become like another instrument. The plugins and things you're able to do in the studio and the, editing and stuff it's not just it's not just to fix problems we use that creatively and so live it's always fun to figure out how we're going to reproduce that in a totally different scenario and we've always you know tried to do it with other instruments or whatever but it is really nice to know that we can now incorporate all of those creative tools into the live show and so we can actually bring the studio experience into the live show not in a way that's like turning the, the record on and playing it through the speakers. Like we're actually performing it. And Leo oftentimes is actually performing with the effects from the front of house, like in real time. You know, the LV-1 helps bridge that gap in such a creative and fun way. And having a controlled environment at home where, where, where you're listening to tracks and you're, you're using plugins, um, and then being able to take that love and then bring it out on the road and have that same connection uh, in a different environment every night, I think has been um, some of my, my favorites, yeah. I 
I've really enjoyed um, the Waves bundle out on the road. And one big one is Smack Attack. The snare drum is a really important thing for a lot of mixers and being able to use that transient designer on Al Sergal's snare has been kind of a game changer for me. Um, being able to have that consistency in, in, in that, that snare sound. I really have enjoyed X Feedback for our acoustic element. We have a single condenser on stage. John Mark and Stephen Williams will kind of crowd around with an acoustic and being able just to, to identify problem frequencies in whatever room you're in quickly has uh, saved me. <laughs> I, if I'm honest, can be an inconsistent live singer and my voice gets tired on the road and I'm always concerned that the show's later starting to lose a little bit. The raspy sound starts to sound cool, but the pitch starts to go a little bit. I love knowing that every night, Leo can use the Waves tune real time to make sure that I'm not way off. My voice is gonna sound good, even on nights when I'm maybe sang too many shows in a row. As far as John Mark's vocal chain, it's it's, it's pretty simple. I, I have a, a CLA 76 compressor just to kind of tighten some of those peaks. And um, Renaissance Channel Strips has been, been doing just great. Uh, and I really enjoy the sound of it. H Delay, having a little bit of slapback for some of our tunes to represent the record. Um, has been also very, very effective. In the spur of the moment, I often l like to rely on on presets. Yeah. I want to find things quickly and I want to kind of hear what other engineers um, have explored with the plugins. So pulling up uh, the Puig Child compressor, um, kind of scrolling through the presets and finding um, John Mark's mastering engineer's preset and then you know, putting that on my master bus and, and all of a sudden it's just, it, it feels very cohesive like mm -hmm. the records. And so that's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Working on several different consoles, you, you kind of have to fit their mold and you kind of have to like dive in into their workflows. And um, with the LV-1, it's just been, it's been awesome because I, I feel like I'm, you know, the LV one's working for me and it's not the other way around. I'm not having to really be confined by some proprietary kind of workflows. I really enjoy being able to kind of control the show and being able to customize it really has given me that, that flexibility. It's just been very fluid and easy and fun, very user friendly, and I don't want to have to dig into a manual to figure things out. So with everything being just kind of right in front of you, it's been, it's been a joy to, to really work with for sure. At the end of the day, the last thing you want to think about when you walk out on the stage is, is my gear working? I want to be thinking about what I'm trying to communicate to the audience and the connection that we're having. And the last thing you want is technology to get in the way. Like the technology exists to support that connection, you know? And that's what I'm super excited about this system. It just makes it much easier to do the things that we really want to do. I, I think I've changed a lot of minds on this tour as far as what um, is expected out of a console. And, you know, when um, people come up to the front of house booth and, and they're asking questions about what is this thing? It's a, you know, it's a touch screen with a controller and it's tiny. And I, I think I've been able to, you know, properly communicate with my mix um, what the LV-1 is capable of. And I don't think I've had a show where I didn't get a compliment from the house guys. I didn't get a compliment from people that we trust. You know, as a mixer, you're always chasing that elusive scent. I mean, I'm, yeah. as an artist, you are as well. You're trying to trying to find the unicorn. Mm -hmm. And um, there's no better feeling than your peers telling you that you sound great. And the LV-1 has given us that, and it just it sounds amazing. Yeah.